Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, can we stand up and reference our God? Happy Father's Day to our fathers out there. Come on, can we tell the Lord that we're chasing after him more and more? Anybody chasing after God? Oh, yeah. I like that. Thank you. Come on, if you can put your hands together like this. Come on, let's round it one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Oh, yeah. Listen. I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do. Cause I need you more and more. Can I say it again? Yeah. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, cause I need you more and more. Say, I'm chasing, I'm chasing, yeah. no matter what, no matter yeah. what I have to do, Lord, I need you, I need oh yeah, oh, yeah. I like that same move.
God, if you're chasing after Jesus, can you put those sanctified hands together and tell them, Father, I'm chasing after you. There's no other place that we want to be, Jesus. But with you, do I have a witness out there this morning, St. Luke? Say, Father, I'm chasing after you. I'm praising my way through. No matter the situation, Father, I'm pressing my way through. I just want to be closer to you. How many of you believe you're passing through on your way home? This is just a stopping block for you. But if you just praise your way through, if you just press your way through, if you just praise your way through, I promise you he'll do it for you. Oh, I'm chasing after you more and more. Come on, if you believe it. More and more. If you just want more from God. More and more. Come on, if you believe it. More and more. Come on and put your hands together right there. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm chasing after you for more. I'm believing you, Father, for more. Come on, if you decree it and declare it over your life, you got to talk to God and say, Father, I'm believing you for more. I'm believing you for everything, God. No matter the situation that I'm going through, I'm believing for you to bring me out of it, God. I'm believing you to anoint my children, anoint my home, send your anointing on my job. Father, I'm, be- I'm believing you for more. I'm speaking it over my life. I'm believing God for healing. I'm believing him for more. More and more. Mm. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord our God for the Lord our God is mighty yes the Lord our God is omnipotent oh the Lord our God he is wonderful and glory honor and power unto the Lord our God oh, for the Lord our God is mighty anybody believe that oh the Lord our God is omnipotent oh the Lord God, he is wonderful. Come on, can we lift it up? Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Salvation and Come on, if you can worship right there. Honor and power. Honor and power. Unto the Lord. For the Lord our God, for the Lord our God is omnipotent. Oh, oh, yeah. Lord, I he is. He Come on, can we lift it up one more time? Come on, if you know it, just worship with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation, Jesus, salvation and glory. Come on, now that's scripture. Honor and power. For the Lord our God, oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, come on, do we got any altos out there today? Come 
Come on, Altos, can you help us sing it? Oh, oh, praise. Oh, yeah. We lift up your name, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yes. Come on, do we got any sopranos out there? Wow, singers out there. Come on, sopranos, sing it for us. Everybody believe he's wonderful. Come on, can we lift it up one more time? Can y'all help us sing it? Say hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now, fellas, I know y'all can help us do this card right here. Come on, tell us, can y'all help us sing it? St. Luke. He is born. Oh, come on, can we see that one more time? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Salvation come on, if you believe it this morning, that scripture. Honor and power. Honor. Unto the Lord our God. He is. He is born. Come on, now, can everybody sing it together? Come on, can we be one big cry? Can y'all sing it with us? Put your hand together and believe God praise him. The Lord our God is a wonderful God. We praise God for the music minister this morning. I dare you just lift up your hands in this place. If you believe God is a glorious God, 
you ought to be able to say hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah in this place. Hallelujah today. Hallelujah. We praise God. We honor you. We honor God in this place today. And we thank God for your presence as we come this morning to uh, baptize another soul. As we come to baptize another soul today, we give God praise and glory uh, for this opportunity to come and to witness another baptism of a soul that believes in Jesus Christ and come to be baptized. As we all prepare the same, we have Mr. Gerald Thomas is coming to be baptized. Take me to the wall. Come on, come on, you all can sing all over the bit. Take me to the water today. Let us bow our heads as we prepare for worship in this morning as this baptism. We thank God today for what you have done and what you're going to do today. We give you honor and we give you praise in this place. Bless this young man as he began his life in Jesus Christ. We thank you for the confession of his own faith. He's believed in Jesus as Lord and Savior. And we come this morning to baptize him today. Thank God and all of us say amen. In obedience to the great head of the church, I come to baptize Gerald Thomas upon the confession of his own faith. I baptize him in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. God for him today as we continue to pray for him and his blessings upon his life. Amen. Amen to this. We continue in worship this morning. Minister Taylor's minister Hopeland is coming with scripture and prayer after which we have our hug ministry and we'll continue in worship. Amen. Scripture reading is coming from Isaiah chapter 46, verse number 9 and 10. The words of the Lord. Remember the former things of old, for I am God. And there is none else. I am God. And there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, from ancient time to the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this another given opportunity to bow before you. Lord, thank you for the candidate that came and got baptized this morning. Those that came back baptized last week. Not only them, Lord, the those that came from different churches, from different communities, from different cities, from different towns, from different areas, all over this country, who have turned their lives back over to you. Lord, we thank you for that opportunity. And every opportunity you give us to come before you reverently, you're a patient God. You are a long-suffering God. You know what's best for each of us. And Lord, right now, this day, this time, this mind, we turn our lives back over to you. Thank you, Lord, for being there. Thank you for being real. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for being long-suffering. Thank you for being the best thing that ever happened to any of us. Knowing you and becoming more like you day by day. We appreciate you, Father. We honor you, Father. Cover us, cover this worship service and everybody that's here. And those that's watching online. 
those that can't get out to church by watching on Facebook. Thank you, Lord, for every soul that connected to any part of ministry. We give you praise, honor, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, and thank God. It's now time everybody can show love to somebody else. We can all rise up from our seats and go and greet somebody that you didn't come here with. Just go and give them a hug of love and smile. Make sure you smile in their face. In Jesus' name, let us rise. Let us rise. God for uh, a fellowship and worship this morning as part of our hug ministry. We certainly thank God for uh, your presence in this place as we continue this morning in our worship experience uh, as we do this also in giving. Giving is certainly a part of worship uh, that you cannot be God given no matter how you try. So it is a part of worship. It's a part of being a believer in Christ to be committed to giving as well. Amen. So if you stand all over the building this morning uh, as the ushers uh, direct you in place uh, to, to come to worship in, in giving on this morning. Hallelujah. You can give on uh, Gillify. Uh, you can certainly do that now as we all stand, whether we're moving tonight, we can all stand uh, as we come to give to the glory of our God. great opportunity to be blessed of God in this when you give to the glory of our God. Usher should be in place to direct you. Go to the wall.
thankful for the gifts. We're thankful for the givers. God bless what they have left. We pray you know what the word says. You will bless us and will not allow the devourers to come in and destroy what we have left. We know you got, there's a blessing in giving because you'll open up a window of heaven and not be able to receive and bless, be blessed of God. We thank God for the gift on this morning. We give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. And the people of God said amen. Amen. So we're grateful today uh, for this opportunity this morning uh, for all of our sons of our church uh, coming back and preaching during this celebration. And we're certainly grateful uh, this morning to have uh, Pastor Gary Sanders uh, to be here today to celebrate with us on this morning. And we're certainly uh, elated to for his relationship, uh, fellowship uh, that has been going through, through the years of his connection to the St. Luke Church. All of his life has been here at the St. Luke Church, and we're just grateful for Gary this morning and his family. At this time, uh, Jay West is coming to uh, instrumental, after which next voice you will hear, there will be a pastor, Gary Sanders, as he comes this morning.
I know we can do better than that. Amen, 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 amen. Y'all gonna have to give me a few minutes. I am excited to be at the Luke on today. I am excited. I am sanctified, happy just to be in the house of God on today. Amen. I just wonder, is there a hallelujah praise in the house? Is there anybody in the house today that don't mind giving God what he is truly deserving of? And God deserves the highest praise. Amen, 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 and amen. Look at what the Lord has done. And it is marvelous in my eyesight today. Amen. Is God not a mighty good God? Woo. Mm. Lord have mercy. I have been cool and calm for the last few weeks. But I tell you today, y'all gonna have to give me just a few minutes Hey, man, you want to give me just a little time if you don't mind. If you're not in a hurry this morning, just give me just a few minutes. I am so grateful. I am so grateful to Almighty God for this man of God and Pastor Dexter G. Moran. Hey, Amen. And to his beautiful bride, Miss Rita, amen, 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 amen. What a combination God put together, amen. Amen, amen, amen. To Jay West, man, I tell you, you. As, as some of the older saints have said, that you some kind of something other. Amen, amen. I am just grateful for this opportunity uh, to stand and give God honor. Amen, because God has brought me from a mighty long way. Amen, and I can remember a time that this was the last place that I would want to be on Sunday morning. Amen. But see, when, when a change comes about in your life, when you have surrendered over your life, when God comes into play and you begin to learn the way that Jesus wants us to live, I tell you, this is the only place that I want to be on Sunday morning is in the house of God. Amen. Has, has God made a change in your life? Amen, that if you miss church, you, you, you feel like that you just all out of sorts for the whole week. Amen, but I'm grateful today for this day. Amen, to stand here and try and preach the word here today. That there's one thing that I am certain of is, is that St. Luke is not hurting for preaching. Amen. Because last last week, my brother Pastor Bass was here, and he he called me after he got back home, and he told me he said he said Gary, he said the pressure is off of me now. He said he says on you now. I said, well, brother, pray for me. <laughs> amen, amen. And I'm I am just thankful to have brothers in the ministry. I am thankful for St. Luke. Amen. I'm glad to have my mother here today. Amen. Amen. I won't, Father, hold you long, but there is a word today that comes to us uh, that I am certain that we are familiar with comes to us from Matthew chapter 6, and I want to begin reading at verse 9. Uh, 
grateful to uh, the Bright Hill family that you are taking out of your time to be with me today. And to my lovely wife, I knew I would hear about it if I didn't. Amen, amen. I'm grateful for this opportunity. Uh, Matthew chapter 9 and uh, chapter 6 and verse 9, it says, In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Verse 13 says, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. I just want to talk about for a few moments this morning a letter to my father. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon me. Father, I am depending upon you. I am leaning and trusting upon you. I ask you now as I stand here, God, to use these lips of clay to re-say what has already been said. Lord, I ask you now because you said in your word that I can ask and what I ask for that I shall receive. God, I pray now that you will bless in this place today Bless the man of God that is over the people of God. Bless him, God, from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. For we all need you, God, and we can't make it without you. Bless now, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A a letter to my father. Uh, My brothers and sisters, I am certain that we are all very familiar with this these passages that have been uh, called Jesus' prayer, the Lord's prayer. But it is actually Jesus gave this prayer to the disciples uh, to use as a model. And, 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 and what I am saying to us today, brothers and sisters, is, is that it is good for us to know how to pray. If you have lived any amount of days in this life, there has been something that has transpired in your life that I am certain will cause you to pray. When, when, when I pray, what is happening is, is that I am sending a letter from earth to heaven. I, I'm, sending, I'm sending a letter to my heavenly father because I know that I am faced with, I am dealing with some situations in this life, in my life, that I am unable to handle by myself. And I wonder if I'm in the right place today. Is there anybody else in the house that sometimes in this life that trouble comes and knocks at your door? Sometimes sickness comes and resides at your home. Sometimes. Sometimes family don't treat you the way that family should treat you. People on your job don't treat you like a child of the king. I tell you, it it will cause you to send a letter to your father. Well, maybe I need to ask the question this morning. I I understand that that there are many of us that we are celebrating Father's Day today. But I, I say that I understand and I realize how important fathers are in relationships with their children. But, but I tell you this morning, there's some stuff that my daddy couldn't do for me. Amen. There, there are some, some situations that my daddy couldn't offer some good advice. But, but I thank God today that I have a heavenly father. I have someone that is over everything. 
I have somebody that is over everything. I, I heard I heard Pastor Moraine in, in, in a message that's been some years ago. Within that message, he said that he said that if whatever trouble is over my head, it's under God's feet. Somebody ought to help me this morning because I tell you, brothers and sisters, we get some stuff that comes over our head. We get some problems that I tell you that just bothers our mind. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, we don't have to worry. But I say to you today that we can cast all of our cares upon him because he cares for, for us. It's good to know, brothers and sisters, that you can send the letter to your father. And if you are going to send a letter to your father, brothers and sisters, that lets me know that I need to direct everything to him. I, I need to direct everything to God. In the body of this letter, I got to know the person to whom it is directed. In the letter, I, I've got to know that the, the place where the letter is going. I've got to know the content of the letter. In the letter, there are some requests that, that can be made, that there is a closing in the letter. And there is a seal in the letter. Now, the Bible teaches us in Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, it says that man should always pray. But I've lived long enough to know that we don't always pray. Oftentimes we won't send up a prayer until problems come our way. But I have learned, brothers and sisters, that when things are going good, that's a good time to send a letter to your father. Well, boy, what you gonna, what you gonna send him if things are going good? You gonna send a letter and tell him thank you. Are, are there any believers in the house that don't matter? Maybe, maybe I need to say, are there any grateful folk in the house today don't mind telling God thank you? Some, some, someone this morning should have told God, thank you. Amen. Because see, when we laid down last evening, we didn't have enough sense to go to sleep. But the God that we serve, our Father, rocked us off to sleep. Not only did he rock us off to sleep, but our Father, he dispatched some angels. In other words, he put somebody over your security system. Amen. That DDT can't, can't do for me. ADT can't do for me. Amen. Ring can't do for me. I need, amen, a power bigger than ring. God dispatched his angels and watched over us all night long kept us safe, no robber, no thief broke in, and then this morning, God blessed us. As a matter of fact, he touched us with a divine finger of love. Our eyes came open. He gave us the use of our arms and our legs. He gave us a voice, and somebody ought to tell him thank you. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. I'm grateful for what he has done. And I'm grateful for what he going to do. I got to, send, I got to send a letter because, see, I have, I have some needs, Willie. See, I, I struggle sometimes in this walk of life. I, I have some problems. I have some hang up. I have some issues. You don't know about it, but I can send a letter to my daddy. 
And my daddy already knows what I'm going through. He knows what I'm struggling with. And, and I believe that somebody might be in the house today that may be struggling with some type of temptation. For we are all tempted. Oh, yes, yes, it's common. It's common unto man. There is nothing new under the sun. All of us face some temptation. But, but, but the problem is, brothers and sisters, is that we are not to yield to temptation. Because every time that we are tempted, God provides. Does he not do it, brothers and sisters? Does he not provide an avenue of escape? He protected us last night. And today he's providing for us. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. Just in case today somebody is doubting, somebody is wondering, will he provide? Well, I am looking at what God has done. I, I'm, I'm looking at what God has provided. I'm looking at the results of the prayers of some faithful faithful folks. Because one thing that I know is, is that if we pray, if we talk to God, God will talk back to us. Amen. Do y'all believe that God will answer your prayer? Are there any witnesses in the house today that know that God will answer prayer? Amen. I heard the saints say he may not come when you want him. But I can tell you that God is an on-time God. Yes, he will come. He will come. He will. He'll answer. He will answer. I, I have... I have two of my, my granddaughters that, that they come to the house and, and no sooner than they get through the door yeah. is, Papa, I want to go to the pantry. <laughs> they, they want to go to the pantry because there are some snacks <laughs> that, that Papa will go and buy, yeah. amen, before they get there. And they know where the snacks have been placed. Yes, sir. And this is what usually happens when, when they ask Paul Paul, can they have some snacks? Usually, Paul Paul give them what, what, what they ask, what they ask for. Well, the, the, the reason why I give them the, what they ask for is because I love them. Hey. It's because I love, amen, my grandchildren. And I want to do everything that I possibly can to help them, to nurture them, to direct them in the way to do things proper. So I, I try my best to give them what they ask for. Yes, sir. And that's the way that God will do with us. Amen. That, that's what he said in Matthew 7 and 7. He said to ask. Hey. Amen. That, that's the problem with us, brothers and sisters. You haven't received because you hadn't asked. And when you ask, you ask with the wrong motive in mind. Hmm. Amen. The word says in Matthew 7 and 11, it says to us, if you send for people, know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask him? Have you asked God for anything lately? Amen. Have you written out your letter? Amen. And sent it to God lately? I, I need God. I need a job. Amen. And I believe God will bless you with the job that you need. Amen. 
Hey, man, I, I am a firm believer that according to what it says in Psalms 84 and 11, he says, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. He says, the Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk upright. Hey, man, isn't that some good news to know? Isn't that some good news to know that we must live right in the eyesight of Almighty God? Brothers and sisters, we can't just live any kind of way and expect to be blessed. I tell you, in this world in which we are living in, we are seeing so much chaos and craziness all over the land. But we as Christians, we as believers in Almighty God can make a difference if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. We can make a difference. God has the power to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we can ask or even imagine. I know how we do sometimes. We pray for ourselves. But I say to us today, brothers and sisters, we should pray for one another. Every day, pray for your spouse, pray for your children, Pray over your church family. Pray over the person that you may not even know. Because I tell you, all of us are only a step between here and death. And I tell you, somebody needs us to pray for them. Hey, man, I tell you, we, we need to pray, brothers and sisters. We need to pray for one another and our prayers must be offered up to our heavenly father amen galatians 4 and 6 says because you are his sons god sent the spirit of his son into our hearts the spirit who calls out abba father amen i, I like this i like this here because what what i'm seeing here this is some personal stuff Amen. This, this is a personal relationship that we all must have with Almighty God. Amen. If you want to have access to everything that you need in life, I dare you to surrender your life to Almighty God. I dare you to seek him first. See, oftentimes we want to try to get the stuff first. Uh -uh, but that, that's, not, that's not in line with the word of God. God's word says, seek him first. Amen. If we seek him first, and then everything else will be added unto us. I just wonder today, is there anybody that have tried him? I wonder, is there anybody that have tried him first? I understand in life that oftentimes we, we seek other stuff first. We, we want finances, amen. We, we want the nice home. We want all of this stuff first. But I tell you, I, I, I need Jesus. I, I need him first. I, I got to get him first. Because if I am connected with him, then I can receive everything that I have need of. Because I do believe that God is still in the blessing business. I, I'm looking at some folk today that, that's driving some cars. Amen. That your, your parents didn't, didn't drive. I, I'm looking at some folk today that's living in some houses. Amen. That, that mama and daddy didn't have. But I tell you, who has everything? Amen. The God that I serve. The God that we all should serve has cattle on a thousand hills. But the God that we serve, housing and land belong to him. I tell you today, I, I just dare you today to send a letter to your father and tell God what's on your mind. Tell God, God, I need a closer walk with thee. 
Is there anybody else today that feels that way? I, I need a closer walk with him. I need a closer walk with him, Willie, because I'm having some issues, amen, in my business. I, I'm dealing with some individuals that's causing me some frustration, amen. And sometimes there is an old nature that has, a, has the desire to want to rise up. Yeah, there, 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 there's some stuff that, that, that these, these men say. Some stuff that they do that before I surrendered my life to Christ, I would handle it a much different. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all act like I'm the only one. You gonna tell me you don't have some problems with the things that come up in your mind? Sometimes, sometimes what I have to do is, Willie. I have to get some knee mail. And knee mail helps me to stay grounded. Amen. Because just in case you thought I hadn't been saved all of my life. I, I thank I thank God, my father whom I can send a letter. Because see, even, even with, with preachers, sometimes we, we get in a mode to where it just can't, it doesn't seem like we can retain. It just doesn't seem like we are getting what we need. Amen. And I tell you, the word lets us know blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they will be, they shall be filled. If you have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness, the word says, thou shall be filled. I, I, I know we're more concerned about the greens and sweet potatoes and cornbread, but I tell you, I need something that's going to help me that when I don't have any beans and cornbread, on the table. I need somebody to feed me. I need my father to feed me and let me know everything. It's going to work out. It's going to be all right after a while. I need to be fed. I need God to feed me because I have to stand before your people and preach the word. And I want to have a rhema word for God's people. Because I tell you, we need the word of God. There's somebody that needs today to hear that you can send a letter to your father. Your earthly father may not be here. But I tell you, you can send a letter to Almighty God. And he will hear and answer your prayer. Yes, he will. Proverbs, Proverbs 30 and 8 says, he says, remove falsehood and lies far from me. He says, give me neither poverty nor riches. He says to feed me with the food allotted to me. God, I, I, what, in other words, what, what I get from this is that, God, I want you to give me Amen. More of you. So when you give me more uh, of you, then I can give back to the people of God. Because I tell you, I want the people of God to be blessed. I want you to live, amen, in houses, amen, that God gave you. That you will be a living witness to tell the world that God did this. Amen. There's a good friend of mine that built a house not long ago. And in his front yard, he put a sign out. And said, God did it. He said, God did it. And that's what we need to do. We need to let our lives say that God did it. When somebody come up to pat you on your back, tell them God did it. Don't take the credit for what God has done. Because I tell you, brothers and sisters, God has been mighty generous to all of us. 
We know we don't deserve to be here. But it is only by God's grace and his mercy. In other words, God didn't give us what we really deserve. This morning he blessed us with something new and something fresh in grace. And I'm going to ask the question this morning because I'm at my daddy's house. And I know my daddy got my back. What are you willing to do fresh for the Lord? Amen. What are you willing to do, amen, above what you've been doing? That's all right. We all, we all family. Amen. You my brother, you my sister. We in this thing together. Amen. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, this, this model prayer is something that begins to let us direct our prayers to our heavenly Father. And one thing that I know is, is that prayer should start out with some praise. Amen. Amen. If, because I, I have learned over the years that it has been said when praises go up, Amen. blessings come down. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody, can I just, can I bother y'all for a second and we give God some praise? As my pastor would say, can, can you take two seconds and give God some praise? Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise him. Because he is our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. The name must be honored. Oftentimes there are people who use God's name in vain. They use it lightly. But I tell you, God should be honored. His name is mighty. Amen. His name is powerful. Amen. Amen. His, his, his name. At the name of Jesus, every knee going to bow. Every tongue going to confess. At the name. Amen. At the name. There, there's no other name under heaven given by which man can be saved. Amen. And, and, and brothers and sisters, we ought to do the work in which God has given to us. Verse 10 says, your kingdom come, your, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. We, we should be doing the work, brothers and sisters, while it's day, because night is coming when no man, no person can work. We need to be busy right now trying to lead lost souls to Christ. Do you remember when you accepted Christ as your personal Savior? Do you remember the joy that you felt on the inside? Do you remember how you celebrated? Well, now is a good time to celebrate Jesus Christ. Every day, every day, we should praise our God. We should pray for his work on earth. Because we, we need the spirit of God in us in order to do the work of God. Amen. You, you can't go out on your spirit. Amen. You can't go out on your, your power. You, you can't do it without God's power. We need God's power to make a difference in this community in which we live. God provides for us daily. And I'm asking God today to help us as we go through our struggles. Hey, man, life is tough, but it's even tougher if you don't have a heavenly father. Hey, man, because I tell you, brothers and sisters, as long as I got King Jesus, somebody ought to help me today, as long as I got King Jesus, 
I know that I can make it with him. Amen. Because when the load get heavy, he lets me know that I can transfer this weight that I'm carrying over to him. And I tell you, brothers and sisters, it's good when I can shift something off on my heavenly father. It's good when I know that I can bow down on my knees and send a message to my father. When I can send out an SOS to my father. I know that he's going to answer amen when I call. I tell you, brothers and sisters, I've had some weary days. I've had some hills to climb. But I tell you, my brothers and my sisters, that I know that my God has never left me alone. I know that he walks with me and talks with me and tells me that I am his own. I'm glad to be in the family of God. I'm glad that I am a child of the king because as a child, there's some benefits to being in his family. I have somebody that when I get sick, I'll come by and see about me. My brothers and sisters may not come if I'm in the hospital. But I know the God that I serve. He's everywhere. He's at the hospital. He's even at the mental institutions. Wherever I find myself, I know I can send a message to my daddy when I need somebody to come alongside and be a friend to me. He's a company keeper in a lonely hour. Anybody tried the man? Anybody ever been by yourself? And you know that God was holding you. The only way I made it this far was I kept my hand in God's hand. There have been some times. I got to be honest. There have been some times when I felt like giving up. Sometimes when I ask myself, what in the world am I doing this for? And I tell you, God has a way of letting him know it's not for you, but I want you to work for me. I want you to be better than you ever been before. Is there anybody in the house that wants to be better than you ever been before? Well, I dare you this morning to send a letter to your father and tell him not that you're informing him about anything because he already knows everything about you and I. As a matter of fact, before you were formed in the womb, that's what he told Jeremiah. He told him, I knew you. And God knows you better than you know yourself. He knows what you'll do. He knows what you won't do. There's some stuff that we have done that we should not have done. But in spite of, God still uses us. Yes, he do. We're not perfect. But we are serving a perfect God. He provides, he protects. What he do is saints of God. Is there anybody in the house today that's been pardoned? I've been pardoned. I don't know about you. I don't know your story. But I know my story.
time ago, I sent a letter. I sent a letter. I sent a letter. I sent a letter off. Watch out, brother. Watch out. And the letter was returned back to me. The letter was stamped. Yes, sir. No such address. I had to try to figure out what to do next. But one thing I know, when I sent a letter to my heavenly father, I know it's going to arrive. I know if I send it on my computer, I send a letter on my computer, there are some hackers can get in my computer and hack my message. But I tell you, when I send some praises up, amen, when I pray to God, when I plead to God, God will deliver and he'll be right on time. Yes, he will. The doors of my father's house are open. I just come today to tell somebody about a letter to my father. I've had to send him many letters, but not one time did he stamp it, return the sender, because he already knows what his child has need of. That's what the word of God says. You don't have to act like, you don't have to try and boast folks up. You don't have to try to be like everybody else, but just be yourself. Be real. Don't play to be seen by man. The word says if you do, you already got your reward. But I tell you what you need to do. The word says go into your secret closet. Go into the close your doors and pray to your father. Pray to your father who's done in secret and he will. He will. He will. He will. He will. He will. I'm trying to get out of here now because my time is up. But I tell you today, I just want to thank God for the people of God. Thank God for my pastor. Thank God for this man of God. And I'm going to tell you, something that was touched on last week when my brother came to preach at the end of his message he put something out there and I'm going to just say this today ditto if you mess with him if you bother him he got some boys amen he got some boys with some Bibles and they coming Father's house are open. Come on in. Come on in. Come in out of the storm and the rain because the God that we serve, he can speak over the storm and the storm cease. The storm stop raging in your life. God bless you today. God bless you. God keep
Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. praise God for this message and I praise God for the message hallelujah in this place you, you can feel a message there's some messages you hear and then there are some you feel especially when it comes from a vessel like a Gary Sanders. It makes a difference what kind of vessel it comes through. And we praise God today for this message today. On Father's Day, you can write a letter to your father because he will provide and he will pardon you sin you've committed. The door of the church is open today for you to come and give God a chance at your life that he can make life much better for you today. Hallelujah today. Every head bowed, every eye closed. This is a great time to get to know Jesus Christ feel your presence in here today. Hallelujah to the will and the work of our God. Wherever you are, you can come while the church is praying just for you. Jesus wrote that model prayer for his disciples that any time they needed to pray, they could use this model have any other words to say here's a model you can do and in that model is everything you need in life he's a person he's a provider and he's a partner and you can seal the letter by saying amen and you just heard the preacher say you won't have to worry about the letter coming back return to sinner return to sender and you ought to worry about it saying no such number because God knows your number. We give him praise and honor in the glorious name of God. Let us all say amen today. Amen. We praise God for you being here today. And certainly we are grateful for uh, the sons of our church. Uh, amen. Come on, give our sons of our church a hand. To others, Pastor Jerry Starks will be here uh, Wednesday night, and after Jerry, then Dr. Uh, Braxton Henderson will come and preach to us next Sunday. Amen. Braxton is flying in next Saturday, Friday, Saturday, to come and to share a word with people that he really grew up with. Amen. He was here from a little boy. Now he's made some achievements in life, and we praise God for that, for what God has done in the life of Braxton. At this time, uh, Brenda's coming with announcements. Yes, we have Gerald. Uh, we want to celebrate with Gerald this morning, his baptism. Why, why don't you turn around and just so they can celebrate with you? Come on, come on now. Put your, both your hands together and give to you ought to be standing up all over the building today. You give more praise. Honor in this place. God bless you. Amen. We're glad for Gerald being uh, baptized this morning. Uh, back there, he said, I'm just as scared as I can be. As you're not the first one. But you ain't going to swim in this pool. Amen. We're we going to get you in and out of here. So you're going to calm down. Amen today. So we're grateful today for... Uh, that uh, Brenda is coming uh, uh, with announcements, and uh, this is Father's Day. I, I 
didn't say it was Mother's Day. I said it's Father's Day. I, I know, I know, I know. Uh, if you haven't gotten your dad a card yet, uh, uh, this the card rack is still full. So, yeah, you, if you wait till 12 midnight tonight, they t uh, they told me to cut it out. It's, it's, cut it out. <laughs> it's, 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 it's still full. I promise you. I promise you. Amen. But we got some good ones here. And we want to celebrate with them today. Amen. Good with me. Amen. Brenda's come with an announcement. Then they have also a celebration for the fathers. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Gary, I tell you. Amen. We are so happy to have you today. Amen. Amen. Again, I want to say happy Father's Day to all the amazing fathers out there. And for those, also for those that have grown on to be with the Lord, we still Amen. honor them. Amen. Amen. Because they were our fathers. I just wanted to say thank you to the men for blessing us with the meal donation yesterday. Amen. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also to the ladies that served well on yesterday. Amen. Amen. And on behalf of all of us, we just want to say thank you. And for those that came out to bless our first lady and our pastor with your presence, with your gifts, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. They are so worthy. We had a great time yesterday. Amen. We sure did. And I also want to say if uh, next Sunday is our love day. Amen. Amen. That's our love day. So I know we're going to pack the house so all those other members at home invite them to come and worship with us next Sunday on our love day to honor our past and first lady. We're going to have a great time in the Lord. I'm excited. I hope you are just as excited as I am to bless them. So that is next Sunday morning at 9 a.m. If you still want to purchase an ad for the souvenir book, well, you can do it today. Today is the final day. We said last week, but we had so much going on that happened this week, so it has been extended to today. You can purchase them in the fellowship hall, and that's in memory of your loved one. You can do it as your business. You can just do it for yourself, and it's going to be an amazing booklet to just uh, celebrate the 35th year for our past and first lady. Over in the gym, we have a backdrop that's still up from yesterday. It was beautifully done. I want you to go over and take pictures if you choose. It's going to be taken down after service, but it's amazing. If you want to get some pictures or whatever, go over there and do that. In the fellowship hall, there is a souvenir table back there if you'd like to be blessed with some of the items from the souvenir just to com commemorate the um, 35th anniversary. Those things are available also. On next Sunday, we have uh, envelopes for the pastor anniversary that will be given by the ushers. Make sure you get one. Please remember what our goal was is what we asked a few months back. If you can, please be a blessing to them. I'm not going to say a number. You just do what the Lord tells you to do. Amen. 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 So those will be available to you on next Sunday morning. Make sure you pick them up. I'm going to turn the mic over to Pastor now. Amen. Amen. As you said, a Wednesday... Uh, it's Juneteenth as well. So if you come next this coming Wednesday, we want you to wear something of that for that celebration on Wednesday. That is our uh, 4th of July. I know that we didn't know anything about it. So for the last two years, we didn't know it existed. But it did does exist. They made sure we didn't know. But we know now. So bring some, some, wear some of that colors of, of, for Juneteenth on that day of June 19, 1865, is when we were free. And we want to celebrate. Uh, if you're free, you all want to celebrate your freedom. And I know, I know some of you all celebrated in 1863. I understand that. I'm very aware of 1863 when they signed the Emancipation Proclamation, but they did not tell till two and a half years later uh, that slaves had been free until Galveston, Texas in 1865, June 19th, is when they finally knew 
they had been free. And there were yet some states that yet was not giving them freedom. And so why in the world we want to do what we are doing today when so many gave their life that we couldn't be free? So we are free and we are free at last. So act like you're free. Amen. So we come on Wednesday night. We're going to celebrate that uh, our freedom on this June 19th, this Wednesday in June. Amen. 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 Uh, now the ladies are coming uh, to celebrate Father's Day. Uh, the men, they want uh, y'all to stand. Come on. Amen. Come on, dads. Y'all better stand while it's going. <laughs> Amen. Look at all these men. Look at all. Come on, man. You don't have to be a... Amen. Whether you're a member of this church or not, it does not matter. It does not matter. Uh, we want to celebrate with the men. Amen. While they're passing, that's why I forget. Uh, certainly, uh, I want all the young adult, uh, young young people to come to the conference room in the uh, fellowship hall. I mean, in the. Uh, hey Amen. Oh, it is Father's Day. Thank you. Please do not leave if you're young or even feel you young. We need that young adult group today in the conference room. We won't be long, but we will communicate something with you so we can move forward. There are men upstairs. We, we ain't missing the men. No, don't, oh, no, there's a man upstairs. Come on, come on. There's some daddies up there, y'all. Uh, come on. I ain't going to let y'all miss these men. Amen. The department stores took things down so quick for Father's Day. I thought they, they thought we weren't gonna have it. Amen. We still, we still father. They didn't, they didn't put no sales on. <laughs> no, there wasn't no sales on for men. Amen. All, all over the regular price. I man, they don't. They, they just cold blooded. They, they at least could put a sale on for a man. Hey, Amen. You know, you know how women buy on sale. I know that's why you didn't buy nothing. It wasn't on sale. It wasn't on sale. Rick, they got everybody up there covered. We ain't going home till we're covered. Hey, Amen. Gary just preached the letter to the Father. Hey, Amen. We want to make sure. We're praying for, uh, certainly for Minnie uh, Smith and her family. Uh, uh, we certainly continue to pray for them. God would encourage them on this day. Let us all stand. up. Let us all say man to them. Let the church say amen. Oh, hallelujah. Let the church the humor that goes on with this day we thank God for fathers we thank God for leaders of our community leaders of our homes we thank God for men today and 
even those who are not represented well, we pray that you'll get their attention. Thank you right now, God. Thank God for Gary Sanders. Give back to him what he gave out to us. Thank you right now, God. Now to him who's able to keep you from falling and present you faultless in the presence of Almighty God. To the only wise God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, his power, dominion, both now and forevermore. And all the people of God said amen. Amen. And amen to that. Come on down and fellowship with Gary Sanders this morning. Amen. Amen.